stadium over the years. And for many a fan here in Kumasi, we know that they are going to be here in their thousands later at 19 hours GMT on Friday to be a big part of this game. It's all about a result. That's what every Ghanaian would want to see, especially with a game going to be played over two legs. The first leg, as we all know, is coming up on Friday. And then the second leg will be coming up in Nigeria, in Abuja, on Tuesday. We can only wish these players well, especially the lads who are going to be getting a call-up to play and the players who are going to, of course, end up on the bench as uh, well. We wish them the very best and we are confident that they have what it takes to deliver and put in a great performance against the Super Eagles of Nigeria, who we understand are also going to be popping in very shortly to also go through their training session. Enjoy these uh, players go through the motion as far as this game is concerned. Uh, I'm sure for the Kumasi fans in here, a lot of them have not had the opportunity to see these players play in a while. The last time Ghana played here was the game against uh, Congo. That game, unfortunately, did not go well for Ghana. Ghana ended up going to Brazzaville to get a 5-1 result. But by the time, it was too late to ensure that Ghana qualified for the World Cup in Russia 2018. Everyone here in Kumasi is excited to see the Black Stars go through the motions today. Everyone is excited to see that these lads look really, really, really hungry to make us proud as far as this game is concerned. The question everyone will be asking is who gets to play tomorrow? Who gets to start tomorrow? And can these players give us the kind of results that we would want? Well, nobody knows. We can only wait and say we would see what happens later tomorrow at the Papa Yara Sports Stadium. So the head coach... Otuado is taking the last through the motions, of course. Otuado, former Ghanaian international. At this point, you can see the goalkeepers on your screen. The goalkeeper is going through the motions with uh, former Black Stars goalie Richard Kinsting taking them through that. Remember, the four goalkeepers who have been invited for this game are Richard Ofori, who plays for Orlando Pirates in South Africa. Lawrence Atizigi is coming in from FC St. Gallen in Switzerland. Abdul Manav Nouridine is coming in from Cas Upen in Belgium. With Joseph Jojo Walakot coming in from Swindon Town in England. For the defense, again, let me just go through that. Dennis Odoy, uh, if he gets the opportunity to play, will be winning his first cap uh, for Ghana. Of course, he has a Ghanaian dad and a Belgian mother. Andy Adam has been with the team for the last couple of years, so he, uh, I'm sure, is uh, pretty much known to many a Ghanaian football fan. Gideon Mensah has been in and out of the team. He's been invited a couple of times, but he's barely gotten the opportunity to play. Dennis Corsa, what a time for him. Only a few months ago, he was playing for Ebusuan Dwarfs in Division 1. He signed for Accra Hathafouk, and we say the rest is history. In the last couple of matches he's played for the Phobians, he has delivered so, so well, and he's gotten a call-up to play for the Black Stars. And then you have Muntari Kamahini, who played in the Ghana Premier League for Dreams FC not too long ago, also getting an opportunity. Daniel Amati has been with the squad from 2015, so he's already done eight years with the team. Joseph Edu, who plays for Celta Vigo in the Spanish La Liga, has also been in and out of the team for some time. Alexander Jiku broke into the team, just before the African Cup of Nations, and he's since then uh, been a big part of the team. And then Abdul Mumin, uh, who plays for Victoria Guimarães in Portugal, also in there. In midfield, we have Idris Baba, who plays for RCD Mallorca in Spain. Edmond Addo, like I said earlier on, a bit of question marks as to whether he's going to be available for this game or otherwise. There was talk that the player was suffering from some kind of injury. We'll wait to see tomorrow whether he's going to be featuring at all. Mohamed Kudus is known to many a Ghanaian, having debuted in that wonderful performance against South Africa in the qualifiers for Cannes 2021. Elisha Wusu is coming in from Genk in Belgium. And then there's Thomas Party, who has been having some amazing performances for Arsenal Football Club in England, together with Daniel Kufiche who had a very, very good African Cup of Nations, never mind the Black Stars exiting in the first round of the competition. For the wingers in the team, we have Isahaku Abdul 
Fatau, who plays for Sporting Lisbon in Portugal. Osman Bukhari plays for FC Nantes in France. Joseph Pensel plays for KRC Genk in Belgium with Yao Yabois coming in from Columbus Crew in the United States of America. He seems to be a very, very traveled player indeed. For the strikers, we have Felix Afinajan, who plays for AS Roma in Italy. Christopher Nchieje plays for VFL Bochum. Jordan Ayu plays for Crystal Palace in England with Kwesi Wright, who plays for Hoisting Kiel in the lower divisions of uh, Germany. Well, like I did say, all of us are excited about the opportunity to see the Black Stars, even if it is in training. It is not every day that you get to see some of these players at a close level. Uh, it's only when they probably come to town that we get to see them. So it's loads of excitement here at the Barbara Sports Stadium already. There have been hundreds of media people who have found their way here to cover the training session. And we understand that we can only cover the training for the first 15 minutes. After the 15 minutes, we should be out of here. So any moment from now, uh, we would have to end the recording because security is getting us away from the stadium. It's only the first 15 minutes of the training that we understand is open to the media. And then we would have to find our way out of those uh, place. But just enjoy these moments as the Black Stars go through their training at the Baba Yara Sports Stadium. We would have to check out and we will check out here at the Baba Yara Sports Stadium. The players are good to go. The technical team is good to go. We are also good to go from a journalistic perspective. And I'm sure for the fans who are going to be at the Accra Sports, the Barbera Sports Stadium, they would also make their way out of uh, here. We're still getting to see the training session of the Black Stars. For now, we get to see the goalkeepers at a very close shot. Former Black Stars goalie Richard Kinsting taking the goalkeepers there through the motions. One of them, only one, who will be lucky to be in post tomorrow. Sadly, three of them are going to be missing out. I don't know who you think is going to be missing out. Is it going to be Richard Ofori? Is it going to be Nuruddin? Is it going to be Lawrence Atizigi? Who gets the nod? Well, that is why Otoadu has been hired. And I don't have the job as a Black Stars manager. He has to make the call, and I'm sure he would make the call on who gets to play. <laughs> 